Welcome back to Snippet Coder and we are back with our video. In this video, we will learn about what are the new features introduced in the Flutter 3.3. So this release bring update to the Flutter web, desktop and text handling improvement in the performance. And there are also exciting update to the Go Router package, Dev Tools and the VS Code extensions. So let's see all the important features in details. So the first feature introduced is the global selection. So now Flutter provide the easiness of selecting the whole text in the web applications with the help of the new wizard that is selectable area. In this image, you can see we are using the selectable area wizard and here we can select all the text, whatever the text within this wizard, we are able to select in the web applications. So the next update is the Scrabble. So Flutter now support the Scrabble handwriting input using the Apple Pencil on the iPad OS. It is default by three widgets that is Cappuccino text field, then we have the text field, then we have the editable text. Like this way, you can see in the image, we can now use the Apple Pencil to write the, with the help of the Scrabble, we are able to write the text in the text box with this new feature. So the next update is the material design. So now the material design three come with many updates, mainly with the icon button. Then we have the chips, then we have the medium and the large app bars. So these material wizard announcement are not by default setting as of now, but we can opt to that use of the material 3.0 in our application. So the next update, which is came is the rich text editing. So this update improved the support for the rich text editing and this release introduced the ability to receive the granular text update from the platform text input plugins. So here you can see we have that simple editor and with the help of that we can have the stylish text box in our application like bold italics then we have the underlines that those features we can use in our application also so the other improvements which we can see in the flutter 3.3 are we have the windows application version via the pop spec so right now we are having the window desktop application version set by the file itself but we got the update now with the help of the pop spec we can change the version that version will be applicable in the window application also and in, uh, in our other ios and mac and uh, android also so the next update is a go router package. Now the Flutter team has published a new version of the go router package and making it simpler to design the routing logic that work across the mobile, desktop and the web. Then we have the next update that is DevTool update. DevTool now come with a number of updates since the last stable Flutter release. It's including UX performance improvement of two data display tables for the faster. The last update which we have seen is the VS Code extension announcement. So now the VS Code extension now provide the flexibility to add multiple dependency in the one go by putting like this way. You can see in the image we have to put that comma separated all the package name. It will add all the dependency in our application. So these are the main feature which are introduced in the Flutter 3.3 and other features like performance improvement and other Dart improvements are also came over there. So I hope you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like, comment, share. I will come back soon with another awesome video. Thank you for watching our video.